Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the L.A. Dodgers and the Houston Astros. Two great hitters lead their teams to battle next on MLB Network. Justin Verlander will be on the mound for the Strohs. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Yeah, Matt, since he's put on a Houston Astros uniform, Justin Verlander's kind of turned his career around. Went through a couple of seasons where his velocity was down, but he's always had that good curveball changeup combination. Velo back up to the mid to upper 90s to go along with that fastball and the curveball. And Justin Verlander is all the way back. Now batting, A.J. Pollock. He will lead this one off today. And afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway. Verlander's ready. Here's the 0-1. A swing and a miss. Two quick strikes to start his afternoon. And he fouls this one off. Great job of running that fastball in on his hands right there with two strikes. Even though the batter's able to foul that one off, he's set up for almost anything in this pitcher's arsenal. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. And we should see some 90s as we go forward. 88 degrees, our game time temperature. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Chirinos corrals it, and the throw is in time. He's retired, and there's one away. A chance now for the Los Angeles Dodgers starting lineup. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, I know these guys love what Justin Turner brings to their offense. Go look at the numbers. He hit over 310 last year and was consistent most of the year. I'm looking forward to him having another solid campaign. So the base is empty here with one away. And up next, the former All-Star shortstop, Corey Seager. First pitch on its way from Verlander. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. I guess he's really trying to measure that fastball in his first at bat, but you really never want to put yourself in 0 2 count if you could do anything about it. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0 2. The 0 2 once more. Line drive to left. Brentley is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Well, this one was squared up pretty good, but just like pitchers give up hits on well executed pitches, batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. In now, Justin Turner. And he puts it on the ground to second. And that's through for a hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. So that'll bring in the National League rookie home run record holder Cody Bellinger. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1 0 is a fastball down below the knees. If you're going to have any chance against a good pitcher, you got to find yourself in some great counts and he certainly worked himself into a nice 2 0 count right here. Two and 0 pitch on the way. 
fouled away. Ready with two balls and a strike. Started to go around, but he's able to check his swing for ball three. I love the ability to hold up right there, especially with count leverage. I know you want to get aggressive in the strike zone, but he was able to notice that that wasn't his pitch. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs, and now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. And that will bring up the versatile Max Muncy. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. From the stretch. In the dirt. Throw to third. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Well, you live by the sword, you die by it, too. He went with an off-speed pitch down in the zone, and that's the risk you take there. The catcher can't come up with it, and two runners advance. Now they're both into scoring position. The 1-0. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, 1-1. One one. You know, the old adage is you never throw a lefty down and in because their ability to turn and burn, and this pitcher's taking that to heart. He is throwing everything away right here. The set and the 1-1, one -one. and it's fouled away. The 1-2 pitch. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. So let's take a peek at the umpire and crew in this one. Behind the plate is Matthew Ross. Well, d -Row, you better be ready to swing. With Matt Ross behind the dish, big zone. Yeah, you know coming into this one, you better pull the trigger. If something's close, Matt Ross is going to punch your ticket. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Brantley is under it. He's got it, and that'll get him out of the jam. Dodgers strand a couple. Now the Astros will get their first opportunity. No score. Walker Bueller gets the start for Los Angeles in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, when you look up the definition of rock solid for a starting pitcher, this is your kind of guy. Career ERA under three, just knows how to get it done. Controls the running game, limits the amount of damage, and more importantly, he knows how to win. And that's why it's going to be fun to watch him work in this one here today. At the plate, George Springer. it lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. A ball and a strike to Houston's leadoff batter. Bueller has made a name for himself as a starter that simply misses the barrel of the bat. He rarely allows a large number of hits, and he does a pretty good job at keeping the ball in the ballpark when the hitters do make contact. Hard liner to center field. Pollock has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. Time now for a quick look at the hometown Astros starting lineup. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, I'm watching the guy they call Dr. Smooth, Michael Brantley. This guy hit over 300 last year, and man, it was impressive. Just hitting over 300 is really something special to look at. He's a consistent hitter. I love watching his approach. He doesn't make a lot of mistakes. He'll be there again this year if he continues to stay within himself. First pitch of the at bat. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Oh, and that is right down the middle for strike two. Line 
drive, and that's a base hit into center field. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. Both of them hit on the absolute screws. One's right at one guy, and then one's a single. Go figure. So one gone in the inning here with a runner at first. And striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. He's ready. Here's the first offering. In there, no balls and a strike. Bregman, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. Nope. Slider taken here, one ball, nope. one strike. He's going to have to make adjustment on that slider away. He can't just make it a non-competitive pitch and allow these guys to take. He's got to start that a little bit more over the middle of the plate to get that swing and miss on the outer half. Here's the one and one pitch. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And hey, a strikeout always works too. Here's Carlos Correa now. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. First pitch on its way. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Correa, sometimes called Show Rea, he's in his fourth season as a major league player. Here comes the 0 1. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. Two out with the man at first. center field in there with base hit oh and he misses it and he'll make it to second base now with two gone so a struggle that time for him in center field and as a result he'll be tagged with the E8 on the play next up for the Strohs Michael Brantley Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. No balls and a strike to count. The 0 1 offering behind 0 and 2 now. This is pulled into right. And that's in there. Base hit. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1-0 lead. Dan, as a former infielder, I apologize for him. Nothing's more frustrating or upsets you more as a defender than making an error and seeing that guy come around to score. It, it, you know what? And that's one of those cases as a pitcher, Dero. There's not much you can do. Listen, there are physical and there are mental errors, and you just have to, as a pitcher, go ahead and look past that now and try to pick up your teammate and try to get it out any way you can. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Hey, he finds himself in a tough situation early, and he's going to have to execute a pitch to get out of it. But if he does, it'll build confidence, and he starts rolling as the later innings start happening. The set and the 1-0. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. 
Yeah, it looks like to me he hasn't quite found that release point so far here in the first inning. Ready with the 2-0. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will get foul. 2-1. and one. Runners on first and third. Two away. Ball Trying first. to shave that outside corner with the fastball. And he missed it. It's 3-1 and one now. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. 3-1. and one, Two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Out of the stretch with 3-1 home. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Wow, he's looking awfully shaky to start this game, guys. That's three hits and a walk. And there's no doubt that he's fighting himself right now. See if he can get this train back on the rails here. Next will be the designated hitter, Tyler White. And Houston looking for more here in just the opening frame of the game. He's set. Here it comes. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. A ball and a strike. Next pitch will be number 24 in this long first inning. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. I never found myself on the mound in the big leagues, but it must be nice to be able to go to that good hard fastball when you're in a jam. The set and the one two. He sends it out to left field. Well hit, but it bangs off the out of town scoreboard. One run scored. And the run will score all the way from first. That makes it a 4-0 ball game. Sometimes you get off on the wrong foot, and it's hard to get back on the right one. That's the fourth hit he's given up here already in the early going. He's got to find a way to string some outs together, or he's going to be in some deep trouble. Stepping in is Josh Reddick as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He definitely doesn't look himself to start this one. And this lineup needs to be on the attack early and be aggressive and find a way to stay in this game. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Now the 2-0. High in the air out to center field. Pollock has a read on it. And the inning is over. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. We'll go on to the top of inning number two. It's the Astros four and the Dodgers nothing. Here's David Freeze to stand in. He's assuming the role of DH in this interleague matchup. Yeah, Matt, that's one of the funny things about National League teams playing in AL ballparks. All of a sudden, the lineup kind of changes dramatically. But the cool thing is it gets more guys a chance to get some at-bats or time in the field. Berlander sets his sights. First pitch on its way. Oh, well, that's okay. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. As an offense right here, 4 0, you can't let that get away from you. You're a grand slam from tying this one up. Everyone take a deep breath and just start getting some guys on base. Now the 1 0 is in there for strike one. The 1-1 one, one. is a fastball that misses. Oh, 
And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. He walked a guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. And that misses nope. for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. At the plate, Chris Taylor. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. First pitch of the at-bat. And there's a fastball from Verlander to jump ahead 0 and 1. Great job of getting back in the zone with a hard fastball after the walk. I think he might have let a little frustration out with that pitch. Oh one here's the pitch. Waved at and missed and he's behind 0 and 2. The guy on the mound must have a different scouting report than we have right here. This looks like a beautiful situation for a double play right here, but he continues to pound up in the zone. Here's Verlander now on 0 and 2. Too low with a fastball there. One ball, two strikes. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. He stays alive, still two and two. Freeze aboard here at first with nobody out. No offer on that one, and Verlander's run at full now, three and two. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. 3-2 pitch, and he lays oh, off there, ball four. four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. He could get the early hook if he can't be a little bit more precise here. That's walk number two of the inning, and we're only in the second. Next for the Dodgers, Jock Peterson. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And that's taken for strike one. This is absolutely a huge spot right here. They have to find a way to get something out of this half inning. I don't care if it's one run or two runs. You have to find a way to at least give yourself a little shot of confidence that you can get back into this one. Behind 0-2 now. Here's the 0 and 2. Fastball well outside. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Time for a look at the Houston Astros on D. And guys, the things I want you to focus on today, one of them being this manager loves to shift. He has the pitch and step to trust to be able to manipulate his defense to try and get as many outs and play the numbers as much as he can. So coming to the plate, Austin Barnes, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First pitch coming, here it is. No balls in one strike. And second now, one man out.
fouled off. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. Struck him out. Striding in once again, A.J. Pollard. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. From the stretch. Called a strike on the outer half. 0 and 1. Yeah, I'm shocked he let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. One and one to the Dodgers' leadoff man. Two down, runners at first and second. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here, so the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. The two one pitch is a sharp slider taken low for a ball. Three and one here, you have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. 3 1 is a fastball, and he can't connect 3 and 2. Boy, not close again. His third walk of the inning as that misses for ball four. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news a single probably drives in a couple of runs. Now to the plate, Corey Seager. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch on its way from Verlander. Smoke the other way. High and deep to left. That one is out of here. This game is tied. So one swing and he unloads the bases on that one as that'll pull him even at four apiece. Oh man when he got the second out I thought he might come out of this unscathed but after that towering grand slam he's about as scathed as you can get. Is that a word. Uh, who cares it is now. Into the box now, Justin Turner. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. One for one after a single his first time up. Into his windup, the 1 0. 2 0. Well, 2 0 now, and this is where he makes his money. If he gets a pitch to hack at, you could bet he's not going to hold back. Hit out towards second. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows of a baseball season. Bottom line is, this guy has bat to ball skills. You knew he was going to get hot eventually. Standing in now, Cody Bellinger. And Verlander jumps ahead of him here with strike one. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Comes set, the 0 1. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Boy, his pitch count has really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. Oh. 
one and one. Here it is. Oh, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Hey, that's a huge pitch for him right there. He's been struggling early. If he's able to get any feel on his secondary stuff, he might be able to hang around a little bit. Four runs here in this half inning. And he fouls this one off. Hey, great job just to be able to foul that one off. In today's game, that's what we're seeing north-south. Pitchers want to elevate, want to get you out above the zone or below it. From the stretch, the one-two. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. But the damage done for the Dodgers, and it came on the grand slam. We'll go to the bottom of the second. All even now at four apiece. So digging in now, Robinson Chirinos. And it was quite a turn of events we witnessed in the last half. A lot of runs put up on the board, and we've got a very close game on our hands now. First delivery to him on the way. And that's high for a ball, 1-0. And here's a fastball inside as the count moves to 2 and 0 now. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. Outside, 3 and 0 now. Yeah, three straight balls to start the inning, and it's clear to me he just hasn't found his rhythm out there yet. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's 3 and 1. The 3 1. Now a drive by Chirinos, deep left field. And out of here, and I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. A solo shot here to left, and it's now a one-run ball game. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, not the end of the world. Here's George Springer. As he grounds one briskly to short, Seeger fields it cleanly on the first. So a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. All right, guys, here's the defensive alignment for the Los Angeles Dodgers. And let's take a look at Jock Peterson. He could play both corners, but his calling card is center field, where he can track down a lot of balls gap to gap and got a strong enough arm to throw guys out at the plate. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. First pitch on its way. Lays off 1 0. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot, and he just gave a stone cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box, no doubt about it. Lofted in the air out toward right center, and he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve.
Here comes the first pitch. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Taylor is under it. He makes the play and that'll end the inning. Astros get a run here courtesy of the solo homer. Last chance coming up here for the Dodgers. Houston's out in front 5-4. Welcome back. Here's Heidi Watney with a report as we get set for the top of the third. Heidi. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, a Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far, and flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He cited the four walks they've earned already as evidence that his guys are waiting for the right pitch and that they're willing to let the opposition work themselves into trouble. So far, that's paying off. All right, Heidi, thank you. Stepping into the box, Max Muncy, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, and this one has hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. That one is out of here. This game is tied. So it's a solo shot to dead center, and we are tied again. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. Into the box, David Freeze. As you look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. Reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Two and zero to the Dodgers DH. Freeze just rakes left-handed pitching. There's no real way to dispute that. However, he's not nearly as proficient when facing pitching from the right side. Swing and a miss. Two and one. Base is empty here with nobody out. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Fouled away. And this is hit hard to the right side. Just foul. The 2 2 one more time. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing to make a guy chase out of the zone. When you recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. You could just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it. Stepping in now, Chris Taylor. As he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. One out, nobody on. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone, and in steps a former World Series hero, the outfielder Jock Peterson. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. You'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Ooh. 
Hit hard back up the middle. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. But the Dodgers are able to tie things up on the solo home run. Bottom of the third coming up, all even at five apiece. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Carlos Correa, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. First offering on its way. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. There's no way around it. This has been a rough start on the mound, so it'll be interesting to see how long that man is going to let him go. Maybe he settles in and can give you another inning or so, but I wouldn't bet on it at this point. There's that slider truly in an unhittable spot. It's one and one. And that misses two and one. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. And the knuckle curved that time. Got him swinging and that's the first out. Here's Michael Brantley. Now the pitch. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Wind up and the 0 1. Oh. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. And it's fouled away. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. And it'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time and it's back to even now at two and two. And my goodness that nearly got him as he had to back away from it. It's ball three. Well that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. Now here's the pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Seeger scoops it up. Throw gets him. Two down. Well executed to Seymour on the outside corner that time. And that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. So striding forward now, Yuli Gurriel. He worked a walk and came around to score in his first trip in this game. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball over the outside, but in there for a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Slider and he can't pull the trigger two strikes. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk coming right after him here. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on Owen two but he holds back it's one and two now.
Waved at and missed for the third down. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Astros. This remains a five-all ball game. Digging in, Austin Barnes. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. High in the air out to center field. Springer has a read on it. He's got it one away. Digging in once again, A.J. Pollard. First pitch coming, here it is. Now a fastball to start things out. Didn't miss by a lot, but it's 1-0. Oh. Hit down the third baseline, but a foul ball, 1-1. One Bases are empty, one man out. The one two gets him swinging, he struck him out. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Uh, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Here's Corey Seager as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. The windup and the 1 0. Weak grounder down the first baseline. Guriel brings it in and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. 1 2 3 go the Dodgers. This ball game still tied 5 all. And we're back in Houston. Welcome back to Minute Maid Park as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Astros manager A.J. Hinch between innings specifically about his club's offense to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Not only have they already put up a bunch of runs on the board, but they've also made the opposing starter work very hard. His pitch count is high, so it seems they'll be getting into the bullpen sooner rather than later. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Now the Astros designated hitter Tyler White. It was a bases clearing double for him his first time up. Well he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A.B. Maybe once a game. Maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1. Fastball just inside. That's not an easy pitch to do anything with, right? 96 miles an hour in on the hands. You almost have to be looking for that pitch to be able to do anything with that. Hey. A good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back-to-back -back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. Here's the one and two delivery. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. He was able to foul that one off, but you could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball, the pitch before that heater right there, definitely threw his timing off. 
takes this the other way to right. But he will come on strong out there in right and pull this one down for the first out. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. In now, Josh Reddick. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 and 0. Oh. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Belted high and deep into right center. Bellinger looking up. And that ball. Solo shot to right center, and with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. Hey, this game looked like it was going to be one of those wild ones right from the beginning. But when you could win this thing in walk-off fashion, what a way to win a ball game. A walk-off win? Well, the man you see right there had a game to be proud of. He really came through when it mattered, and he's our top player of the game. When you walk up to the plate and hit a walk-off tater, you're probably going to be the player of the game, and that was a clutch swing of the bat, and he'll be riding high on that one for a while, I'm sure. A one-run game, 6-5, to five, the final today. Houston put up a four spot in the opening frame on the way to victory. Justin Verlander gets the W on the mound. Walker Bueller permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network.